Hello Hasbro fans, this is Sephardus Astoyas back again with yet another Star Wars action figure review. And this time taking a look at a 2012 The Vintage Collection figure is the Hoff Luke Skywalker. And it's a pretty cool figure, you know. I didn't want a lot of figures from the Wave of Five, um, just Malgus and Hoff Luke pretty much really. They are three. Um, I had absolutely no interest in the colors Anakin, Realistic, and Vader especially, I couldn't care less for. Imperial Navy Command I wouldn't mind owning, but I wouldn't be too disappointed if I didn't get it. So Malgus and Hoth Luke were the only ones I really wanted, to be honest. But, um, you know, I'll move the figure aside and take a look at the packaging first. Um, you know, if you know me well enough, you know... I often don't really care about card backs, to be honest. I'm not a card back kind of collector, carded, that sort of thing. But this is a very nice card back. Credit, I give credit where credit's due. And in this case, it is definitely due. Because it's a really nice card back. You know, I almost actually want to keep this one for some reason. And I definitely rarely say I want to keep card backs um, of course they would just be like the card back because like the figure is already open and the packaging is open um, it's a very nice image to be honest with you um, back of the packaging standard UK packaging pretty much so yeah nothing special there on the back of the packaging so anyway on to the figure um, he does come with a lot of accessories, um, of course he comes with his standard lightsaber, which I'll just take out of his hands and show you. There we go. So, there is his standard lightsaber. So there we go. Next up would be a blaster pistol. Which is a pretty interesting design. Kind of hard to take his weapons out of his hands, actually. Um, so, yeah, pretty nice pistol. And next up is the lightsaber hilt on his belt. Yeah, another unlit, unlit lightsaber. And that's one of my favorite things now, actually, about vintage collection figures, as well as the great sculpting work and articulation is the unlit lightsaber hilt we rarely get that in any other line we've got for one or two only maybe more um clone wars figures season three ahsoka definitely i think also the space suit obi-wan but no others i think but it's really cool when they include unlit lightsaber hilt and they do that quite often to be asked with the vintage collection figures so yeah Really cool. And the last is the bandana kind of thing, I guess. I'm not really too sure what you could call it around his face. Um, and I'll just zoom in on it before I take it off. That does look pretty nice. Um, And now I will take it off. It actually took me a while to get it on in the first place. It took me ages to work out how you did it. But there we go. It's off again. Um. There is basically what it looks like otherwise. So yeah, pretty nice. Um, so that is all four of the accessories. And the figure now, and I'll just zoom in on what his face looks like otherwise. Um, and, you know, the, this face sculpt is really excellent as well. Really, really accurate representation of how Luke Skywalker or Mark Hamill, the actor, is supposed to look like it's really cool very nicely done by Hasbro um, there was another pretty good representation the lightsaber construction Luke with a good um, d good work on that Luke's face and I'll actually just get that Luke down for my display so bear with me Okay, so there is the lightsaber construction Luke, and both are pretty good representations of Merc Hamill. Um, sure, they're two different gears, that's for sure, but, you know, they're both pretty good representations of what Merc Hamill looked like in those outfits. So, very impressive, actually. 
Hasbro's game much better for Skywalker faces. I'd probably go with this one better to us. I kind of think it's more better represent represented um by the you know color skin tone of the face anyway um maybe the lighter construction look is a bit too brown or something um a bit too tanned I should say but. You know, this is a very good representation as well. Um, articulation includes a ball-jointed head, ball-hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, um, ball-jointed waist, which I was really surprised to see actually, ball-jointed hips, ball-hinged knees and ball-hinged ankles. And I just said ball-jointed hips, it should be ball-hinged. But, yeah, and you can do some really cool poses with this figure, like the splits. And I only just noticed actually that the camera was still zoomed in all this time. <laughs> um, but yeah, very cool figure. Very nicely articulated and overall just very cool as well. So yeah, not much else I can say about the figure, aside from one other thing actually, and this was an issue that collectors brought up around the time the figure was originally released. Um, they complain. There was a lot of collectors complaining about the shoulders or something. I'm not too sure what was about the shoulders, the size, um, the length. I'm, I don't even know what the argument was. I've forgotten completely. But um, I just don't know. I think the shoulders look fine. Whatever the collectors were complaining about, I don't really remember. Um, there was some sort of collectors complaining. And there were some collectors complaining about something to do with the half Luke shoulders. And basically, I one don't understand, and two don't see what the problem is. To be honest, um, so anyway, I'll just give one final zoom in of that really good face sculpt, and that should be that for this review. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at the vintage collection Luke Skywalker and half outfit. Vintage collection number 95, so pretty cool figure, another 10 out of 10 in the vintage collection. Um, so yeah, just really cool, you get 4 accessories as well as this awesome figure. Definitely worth the money and a really cool figure. So anyway, may the force be with you and happy hunting.